Something's Brewing takes us to Glastonbury. Hops on the Hill just opened in June. Now this farm brewery has been in the family for decades. They've expanded. They're growing and selling their own hops. Plus their beer is delicious. Well, a stunning property here on Hops on the Hill. Al Gondek, everyone, with Hops on the Hill. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Wait till you come and see this because you go up this long driveway. How long is this driveway? It's about 2,000 feet. Oh, my gosh. So you own this farm. Um, you said your dad bought it, what, in the 1950s? Uh, my dad bought this in the 50s, and um, since then it's been um, tobacco, mm -hmm. grown broadleaf tobacco, and I still do. Uh, but uh, a few years ago, I started growing hops, trying to get into another crop. Um, and that's how I met Phil. Uh, Phil was a brewer. Uh, I got, uh, we got talking about hops, and next thing you know, we were talking about a brewery, mm -hmm. and here we are. And this was our way to continue to farm uh, a little different way, um, maybe get away from the tobacco a little bit, and start something. Uh, different and unique and, and here we are. So now you can farm with the beer in your hand, right? I can farm with the beer <laughs> in my hand, yes. What's better than that? So here's Phil, everyone. Phil Lore, Hi. brewer and owner. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so you have a little different concept here we were talking about earlier, how everything is 100% local. Yes. So we like to say we're 100% farm to glass. So every one of the beers here has 90 to 100% of the ingredients are from the local farms and from the local area. That's awesome. And then the style is more German, you mentioned. Yeah, so the whole uh, venue here is like a German style beer garden. And so the beer styles follow along. Mm -hmm. Is there uh, what I would call kind of comfort beers? Mm -hmm. They're not uh, highly flavored experimental beers. They're, they're all under 6% alcohol. And so uh, they're really for people to sit back and enjoy. So the first beer we're going to talk about sure. is a Munich lager. Yeah, so we do have lagers here, which again for craft is, is not as usual. Uh, when people come in and say, I'd like a light beer, uh, we always give them the Munich Lager because it's a traditional uh, light style German beer that's the basis for a lot of American beer. And so that's kind of what they're expecting and that's what we give them. So the second one, we're going to talk about another lager, yes. the Dunkel Lager. Yeah, so the Dunkel Lager is, is a, a dark beer, a traditional German dark beer. It's not a style that's well known in America, mm -hmm. but for people who like that dark roasted taste but don't like the heaviness of a stout or a porter, uh, Dunkel is kind of what I would call a summer light dark beer. So it has the, the dark flavored malts, mm -hmm. but it's in a lighter beer. It's only 5.2%. Uh, then next you have a, a citrus pale ale. Yeah, citrus pale ale is kind of our summer feature. It's uh, using the uh, Chinook and Cascade hops mm -hmm. from Al's Hop Yard. It's exclusively a 100% uh, farmed glass Connecticut beer. And it's light, uh, hoppy on the back end. Uh, and citrusy, so mm -hmm. delicious for this kind of hot summer day. And last but not least, uh, an IPA. Yes, uh, Amarillo IPA. Uh, it's, it's our answer to all the IPAs that are out <laughs> there. We're trying not to compete, but it's a more of a West Coast style IPA. So it's clear, crisp, uh, no haze, uh, medium alcohol, but a ton of hop flavor. So in addition to the beer, you have fresh cut flowers too. We do. We have uh, sunflowers mm -hmm. and we have zinnias. Uh, you can come and, and cut your own. Uh, coming in September, we have uh, hop harvest. Okay. And October is pick your own pumpkins. That's awesome. So pick your own pumpkin and have a beer too, right? There, there you go. <laughs> okay, and then we want to introduce the ladies here. So uh, Al. This is my wife Nancy. Hi. Hi. And my wife Ann. Yes. So thank you for all your hard work. Thank you. I'm sure you're very highly involved, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> all right, so we'll, let's do a toast. Uh, so. Um, I also wanted to mention you're coming up on what, week seven or eight? We're coming up on week, this is week seven. This is week seven. Okay, well, congratulations. Thank, and thank a you. cheers. How do I say it in German? Prost. 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 Okay, something's brewing at Hops on the Hill in Glastonbury. Prost. Prost. Cheers. Prost.